There is a dramatic new warning about the danger posed by one of the escapees in a Southern California jailbreak. An Orange County prosecutor is quoted as saying, they let Hannibal Lecter out. The Orange <laughs> County Register reports the three escaped men are among 15 prisoners who have gotten out through the roof since the jail opened in 1968. Maria Villarreal is at the Orange County Central Jail with new charges as that manhunt intensifies. Maria, good morning. Good morning. All three men are now facing federal charges of escaping jail. Authorities say they could still be in this area and are considered armed and dangerous. Investigators have served 30 search warrants and have come up empty. We do want to warn you, some of what you're about to hear is considered graphic. We know somebody out there knows something. The Orange County Sheriff's Department repeatedly asked the public for help Monday and sent a message to the Vietnamese community. It is extremely important for them to reach out to us, let us know where they're at, because they're extremely armed and dangerous. 20-year-old Jonathan Tu, who is facing murder charges, is linked to a Vietnamese gang. Bak Duong is also thought to have gang ties. The 43-year-old was being held on attempted murder charges. 37-year-old Hussein Nairi is accused of kidnapping and torture. In 2012, Nairi, along with an accomplice, allegedly tortured a man with fire. He also poured bleach all over him, and in the end, he uh, cut his penis off. I'm scared. People who live in the community near the jail are frightened. These people are that bad? How did they get out of jail? He is incredibly violent. Orange County prosecutor Heather Brown says Nairi's trial is set for next month. The acts that he committed are nothing short of diabolical. To lose him to this at the last minute is just unfathomable. Authorities believe the men escaped from the Central Men's Jail Friday morning. They were being held in a cell with at least 60 other inmates. The escapees cut their way through a steel screen and entered the building's plumbing tunnels. Can you talk about the tools that they used and how they were able to obtain those tools? I don't think I'm really ready to describe what they are at this point. Law enforcement says the group rappelled off the roof down nearly five floors using a makeshift rope made of linens. If these men are found, they are facing new 15-year federal charges for escaping jail. Right now, investigators are also looking into how they got their tools and if they got help. But so far, no one here at the Sheriff's Department has been put on leave or has been suspended. Nora? All right, Maria, thank you.